30 a day is where you read online that is mostly propagated. It might be better to do 30 every other day or to lower it down and do 10 a day. What is up everyone, it's Roos. I hope everyone is doing well. Quick ASMR spritz, check out Intelligent Elephant Carbon, the cologne of choice here. Coupon code or Russo links in the description, but here's the spritz noise. You gotta buy and use coupon code Russo to see how it actually smells. Today I'm going to be going into Rad 140, R80-140, the I'd say third, second most popular song in the world right now, Misinformation. And I believe, you know, Derek from More Plates, More Dates has stated this in the past, but it's buried. And I feel like this information needs to get out there more. And it's that the proposed half-life, especially when I started messing around with R8140, I think I was the first ever, and I'll have Andrew throw up one of the original RAD 140 only cycle documentations I did around 19 years old, 19 years old. I played around with a solo seven week cycle. I actually reacted to my cycle. And if you want to watch the full reaction of the full, you know, cycle, but basically under that research back then when I was 19, the inclination that the half-life of RAD 140 was roughly around 24 hours. It has now been discovered that the half-life seems to be much, much longer, probably around 72 hour mark, possibly a little more than that. Meaning if you are daily administration, if you're doing daily administration of RAD 140 in a daily dosed application, you're building up the half-life double of what is, you know, intended to be proper propagated on the internet, meaning a lot of people report, which me included, right? The number one side effects of RAD 140 for a quick run around is obviously extreme aggression. It does not work well with your mood, irritability, hair loss, and more importantly, blood pressure headaches. Now the blood pressure headaches thing is where we start to draw the conclusion. Well, is this being dosed accurately? This is a very cutting edge compound where there's no, again, underground bodybuilding dosings to go off of with our inclination of the half-life being, you know, 24 hours. If said half-life is closer to 72 hours, possibly even more, and you're doing daily dosings, well, you're building up an active life and a half-life that's way more than you originally intended. Thus, you could be mega dosing it, causing these blood pressure side effects. I have a lot of people in my DM box at Rooster Lifts. Follow me on Instagram to diversify away from this YouTube channel. And don't forget to like the video. You know, it really does help a lot when you guys like the video. But yeah, I get a lot of DMs of like, Ryan, I'm having these headaches with RAD 140 and I'm having this pressure in the back of my head, which is a sign of, you know, chronically elevated blood pressure. You know, I don't think they're checking their blood pressure every morning. Please, guys, buy a blood pressure gauntlet from Walmart. Check it every morning if you're enhanced and do multiple readings per day to kind of get that under control and see where your blood pressure is at versus you won't feel your blood pressure completely out of whack, especially when you're young and you can get away with it for a long time, but you could you know, randomly have a heart attack, randomly have an aneurysm, randomly have something scary happen, where if you are going to do the biohacking lifestyle, putting your health into your own hands and risking all this danger for, you know, said perceived vanity results, especially if you're pushing bodybuilding dosages and not, you know, biohacking longevity dosage, if you're more in the extreme category, we got to monitor this blood pressure. But I saw a lot of DMs recently. I think I made this video a long time in the past. Maybe I didn't, but I wanted to harp on that. It's now known with RAD 140 that the half-life definitely fucking isn't 24 hours. It's much longer. With LGD 4033, it's obviously much longer as well. I believe the medical study indicated 40 something hour half-life. We might think RAD 140 is even longer, meaning, you know, every other day dosing might be a more efficacious way with much less side effects with really no perceived, you know, decrease in results, right? There is a ceiling to these SARMs, right? There is a point of no return where going up in dose just yields more side effects, not more results. So I'm saying if you're one of these guys who are getting into this category of enhanced bodybuilding and you're thinking, oh, well, I read online that it's, you know, 24 hour half-life, I'm going to do anywhere between, you know, five. And I've seen people and I've personally gone up to 40 a day, which is insane. I don't recommend. I'm just, you know, publicly throwing out dosages I've tested and have found the point of no return to be around 30 a day with my blood pressure being extremely elevated with 
with my hair loss being escalated and with my mood obviously being horrible, 30 a day is where you read online that is mostly propagated. It might be better to do 30 every other day or to lower it down and do 10 a day or figure out a every other day dosing or figure out a every third day dosing on top of your TRT, less side effects, more sustainability, still getting the neuroprotectiveness of the R8140. Alvandra threw up the neuroprotectiveness study, so it's very good for being an atropic like effect and protecting the brain, protecting the neurons. And I noticed the difference of focusing capabilities when I'm on R8140. All I'm saying is if you're following the bro science you read online of it being 24 hours and you're doing a big dosing, which is in the bodybuilding category of dosings of 20 to 40 milligrams a day, just know that that half life's way longer. So when you do 30, you know, on Monday and you do 30 again on Tuesday, you now have 60 stacked up. And then when you do it the other day, you know, the half-life and syrup concentration goes through the roof. If you get what I mean of stacking them constantly, it's good to have this education and information go out there onto the internet that, hey, with RID 140, especially let's back off the dosings to every other day, every third day, or lower the everyday dosing because it's no longer perceived that this half-life is 24 hours and there's this dramatic fall off in active life and half-life after 24 hours. No, if you're doing it every day, you're stacking it, you're building up this way bigger concentration, which could lead to all these blood pressure side effects, pressure in the back of the head, having chronically elevated blood pressure all the time, the rad somnia, not being able to sleep because the central nervous system is overstimulated like crazy. It's because, again, I'm one of those included. I'll, I'll have 80 milligrams build up of complete first active life of R80-140, thinking it's 24 hours doing 40 a day, testing out the extreme efficacious bodybuilding dosage is fine the point of no return I actually went above 40 a day that was wrong it's longer if i knew it was longer i would not have been nearly as aggressive in my first ever experiment i went off the information i had it's now well known that carterine and rad 140 the half-lifes are much longer than 24 hours go spread this information around like it if you found it informative i will see you in my next video